Hey everyone, welcome into the Arena Productions where we dive deep into the latest and greatest in entertainment. And today we're tackling another Shogun episode, episode seven, a chapter filled with alliances, betrayals, and a tragic end that no one saw coming. So let's break down the episode and share our thoughts on the unfolding drama. So there will be spoilers. So if you have not watched the episode yet, please go to Disney Plus or Hulu or FX and check out the episode before moving forward. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. So in this pivotal episode titled A Stick of Time, we witness Lord Yoshitoranaga's strategic moves as he prepares for the impending confrontation with Lord Ishido's forces. Amid the tension, Toranaga seeks to fortify his position by reaching out to a potential ally, his half-brother, Saiki Nobutatsu. However, the reunion is anything but warm, so reflecting the complexity of their relationship and the political landscape they navigate. So Toranaga's past is further explored through revealing flashbacks, shedding light on his journey from a young warlord to the seasoned strategic uh, uh, warlord that we see of him today. These glimpses into his history not only humanize Toranaga, but also contrast sharply with the present where his half-brother Nobutatsu emerges not as an ally, but as a direct threat, having aligned himself with Ishido. So, <sighs> the episode doesn't shy away from the personal either, as we delve into the strained relationship between Blackthorn and Mar Mariko. So, their connection, already complicated, is put under further strain by Mariko's husband, Buntaro, who seeks justice for perceived dishonor. This subplot adds a layer of intimate drama to the political intrigue, highlighting the, the rigid societal norms and personal loyalties that bind these characters. So as tensions rise, a shocking development leaves everyone reeling. The untimely and unexpected demise of Toranaga's son, Nagakado. So in a series known for its strategic maneuvering and calculated risks, Nagakado's impulsive action leads to a fatal mistake, making a poignant reminder of the harsh realities of their world. So, Episode 7 of Shogun, I felt, masterfully intertwines personal vendettas with political scheming, all while continuing to build towards an epic climax. The exploration of Toranaga's character through flashbacks adds depth to his motivations and decisions, making him a more relatable figure despite his lofty ambitions. The subplot involving Mariko and Blackthorn serves as a stark reminder of the personal sacrifices demanded by duty and honor in this era. So their story, fraught with tension and unspoken feelings, adds a compelling emotional layer to the episode. However, it's the shocking conclusion that truly sets this episode apart. The sudden loss of Nagakado uh, not through battle, but a tragic accident, underscores the unpredictability of life and the fragility of human ambition. It's a moment that resonates deeply, challenging the characters and the audience to reflect on the true cost of power and legacy. So as Shogun marches toward its conclusion, Episode 7 lays the groundwork for a finale filled with uncertainty and intrigue. The characters, each burdened with their own loyalties and desires, are set on a collision course that promises to deliver a dramatic resolution to this epic saga. So let us know in the comments what you thought of episode seven and all of these shocking moments. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe and notification bell for when we drop another episode of uh, our Shogun recaps and reviews, as long as all of our, uh, as well as all of our other uh, content here on the Arena Productions. So with that said, uh, thank you so much for watching, and we're looking forward to episode 8 next week. So, until next time, keep watching, and take care, everyone. Peace.